POC Network here with another unboxing, this time coming from AK Global Tech Corp. This is their Alchemate Revo. And what that is, is a breathalyzer. Now you might remember in the past, about a year ago, we covered a small little guy, a tiny little breathalyzer. It fits in your pocket. Really small. Uh, it's impressive. Uh, unfortunately, it never really came to market. Uh, what they had sent us was a consumer-ready, way past the prototype phase uh, device, and it just it, it wouldn't work. Uh, I mean, excuse me, <laughs> it did work, but they never worked, apparently. They never brought it to, there's probably something in terms of accuracy they just couldn't figure out, or maybe, hopefully, they're still around and they're still working on it, and uh, we just haven't seen it yet. But in the meantime, we have a more professional model. This is the, uh, again, the Alchemate uh, Revo. This is a digital personal breathalyzer from AK Global Tech Corp. And we're going to take a look at it today, unbox it. You're going to go to the website at plcnetwork.net. And then you're going to read about it because our authors are late, um, later are going to talk about it. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside. Get rid of that thing. Uh, initially, it comes with a nice hard shell case, which is pretty cool because, you know, an expensive gadget, you don't want it to be lost. If it's just a pocket-sized thing with nothing to put in or store it in, it's going to get thrown around, scratched up, and who knows what's gonna, where it's going to end up. For this, you know, you got a box. It's easier to store. It's, you know, it's kind of hard not to see this laying somewhere so you're not going to lose sight of it so forth uh before we go into the box i do want to point out i don't believe these two items right here are included usually unless there's a kit uh they were nice enough to send out some extra mouthpieces and a cartridge and we'll get we'll get into that in just a second and what these are now we're going to go back into this we're going to open this up see what's on the inside here uh you have your instructions which are pretty thin, so that's always a good sign. It's not confusing. I have already broken into one of these mouth pieces. Um, they're in uh, little separate packages. Uh, you get five within the case, and uh, they do this so everything's nice and clean. You know, uh, everything's uh, in a sealed package, so you're not reusing mouth tips or doing anything weird, unless that's your choice, of course, which I wouldn't recommend. But these are the little mouth pieces that go into it. Uh, I'm going to put that right there just for now. I'm going to move on. We'll come back to that. You have a small little case, so if you do want to go pocket-wise, because you know if you're mobile, uh, you're not going to want to stick this in your pocket, so you put the device into the pouch, pouch goes in your pocket. It's a nice little foam pouch with a zipper, two zippers to be exact, and a lanyard in case you want to get trendy and hang a breathalyzer from your backpack. You have two AAA batteries. They are generic. Uh, that's quite common in most devices. Nobody really provides Energizer Duracell these days. Uh, so it may not last as long, but at least they do provide batteries. And of course you have the device. Really small, it's kind of like an old candy bar cell phone from like 2004 when everything was getting really nice and small. Kind of like the Samsung, the StarTech, the Samsung, uh, I forget the name of it. Uh, Samsung made a nice little slider candy bar phone that popped up about a quarter of the way up and revealed the keypad at the bottom. And a little durable little cell phone. Um, or was that the Sony? Yeah, might have been the Sony. No, that was the Samsung, yeah. So, uh, it's real simple, actually. Uh, I've already taken a look at this, so I've kind of cheated. Uh, so I know what to expect here. But you have your intake here for air. This is what the little mouthpieces go into, and you blow into it. Uh, you have a, a release right here where the air comes out of. Just like that, right out the back. So it doesn't, you know, you know if you have no release, then you're just kind of blowing air, and it's going to go into the device and mess everything up. Probably, I'm guessing, or it's just not going to work. Uh, there's a little top thing at the top here. I don't know quite know what that's for. It might have something to do with the sensor uh, cartridge thing, but maybe not. Uh, you have an LCD display on the front and a power button. Simple as that. Uh, again, there's no recharging or anything like that. There's AAA batteries. The, the back cover pops right off uh, somehow. I believe it slides off. Um, that's to replace the batteries uh, and to replace the cartridge. I'm going to pop that off real quick. Uh, there are instructions uh, besides these instructions. This, this is something, if you wanted, you can stick on the back or maybe somewhere inside the case. What this does is it details how to get the cartridge into it. Uh, it tells you you got to remove the battery cover by pushing up on the groove at the bottom. So that's what it is. got to push up on the groove at the bottom. And that pops everything out. It's got a lot of teeth in there. So this is what it looks like on the back side. So you can see one of the cartridges is right there. And it tells you to uh, take out the battery, 
uh, there's actually batteries, but they put it as singular, uh, grab handles and pull down side that which indicates on sensor module case, which would be here, uh, to remove it, and then it tells you to reverse these instructions to put it back. So there are replacement parts on this device. Uh, so um, it's not like the other one where it's just uh, you're ready to go and you reuse it as many times as you want. That may also be the reason why it might not have worked or come to the market just yet. But um, I'm not going to put that on just yet, because, in fact, because they're going to be testing this later. But this might be the secret to everything, replacement parts. It's really hard to get away from them. It's great for the company because it's continued profit. But for you, hopefully, it means long-lasting, accurate results. I mean, it is touted as that. So go to plcnetwork.net. See what we have to say about it. Our authors are going to run a story about this later on and talk about what they think. They're going to test it out. I know everybody's going to have fun with this. I'm probably going to join in on this, uh, this uh, benchmark as well since alcohol will be provided. So it's, I think half the office will be joining in on this one. So we're probably going to use up most of these just to make sure we have accurate results. But we will give you an answer. So again, plcnetwork.net. And thank you for watching. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.